Hey, welcome to the Jetboil Lab. Thanks for dropping by. My name is Ryan. I'm the global sales manager here at Jetboil, and today I want to talk to you about some things not to do with your Jetboil. Don't use cookware other than the supplied pot on the stove without the use of a Jetboil pot support. If you need help with this, check out our video on how to use the pot support with your stove. Don't handle or jostle your stove while in use. Make sure it's always on a solid level surface during use, and you turn it off when you want to move it. Don't place an empty pot onto your lit stove. The pot always needs to have liquid contents for safe use. This also means you need to keep an eye on your food and never let it boil down to empty. Stir frequently as you're cooking, especially if it's a thick food like chili or stew. Don't place the pot on the stove until the stove is lit. This ensures no buildup of gas vapor occurs before ignition. Don't leave your stove unattended. Always maintain visual contact and be ready to turn off the stove in cases of emergency. Don't force your stove onto the fuel canister as cross-threading can occur. Ensure the stove is threaded onto your fuel canister properly. If you hear gas escaping without opening the valve, do not ignite the stove. Check to make sure it's securely threaded onto the gas canister. Don't overfill your pot. Contents can boil over, burn you, and maybe even ruin your jet boil. So the general rule is to fill only half the pot or to the max fill line where available. Don't forget to remove the bottom cover before placing your pot onto the stove. Now you're ready to get out on the trail. If you have any questions or anything comes up along the way, please don't hesitate to contact us. Customer service is standing by and ready to help. Good luck and we'll see you on your next adventure.